What are you doing? I'm writing notes to uh, certain people that I'm going to miss a whole lot. You're writing a lot of notes. At that final moment, I wasn't ready to go yet. That had to be the most heartbreaking moment of the whole trip because we had all grown so close in, in such a short time. Everyone had found a found a pair that you know a person that they had grown close to. Bye, I miss you. What did you do? Send me a picture, please. And you're gonna come visit us. Yeah. It was very hard for me to live through these minutes, and I was like throwing apart. I was hugging Ashley, and um, I was saying her words that I that I was believing in. I'm gonna come back and see you. What? I'm gonna come back next summer. Perhaps before then, okay? I'm gonna come see you. Are you gonna write me? Yes. These moments, and I was there to capture them, but after a while, I mean, I started getting upset that I couldn't be in one of those moments. I mean, I wanted to go and say goodbye to all these people. You know, it really hit you there that, you know, you're leaving these people and you don't know if you ever see them again. You can't judge a culture by its stereotype. I mean, you actually have to experience it to know anything about it. You know, from studying Russian culture out of a book, I would never get what I did out of just living there for a week. It's made me realize that, that there, I'm not in my own little world. I live in Germantown, Tennessee, but there are, there are many other places in this world that exist that, that I should learn about. It's a country with people who are struggling to catch up with the rest of the world in a lot of ways and then keep the uniqueness about their country at the same time. I need people now. If you take the time to get to know them rather than just surface things, it can really change your life. No meetings of talk shows, of soccer games, they can do nothing with people if they not find some way to the heart of each other. The trip to Russia was an eye-opener, a heart-opener, and it was just a mind-opener. We never knew that they had the same kind of problems at their age. And it's strange because we were thinking that in America, because there are lots of food in the stores, and then, then the problems are in their minds. I wonder how many of you have ever had a personal talk with a communist. There are no borders, and the borders is only official things for their government. And the people in the world can live like different people, of course, but different is only the culture and uh, only the history. Americans and Russians, once they meet each other and once they get to know each other, they realize their differences aren't all that uh, great, that they all have the same aspirations. They have a need to be free. They have a need to be self-expressive. There were a lot of Americans who I became very close to, and when they left, I felt an emptiness around me, like I had lost something I needed very much, because they are part of my life now. This exchange has changed me. I have got to discover life and people um, and countries and cultures on my own. I can't, depend on, I can't depend on seeing it just through somebody else's eyes because I think for all of the years of my life, for 40 some odd years, I depended upon what the government told me and what newspapers and media told me about Russia. And then I go there and find them to be such warm, responsive, intellectual, caring, giving people. It just shattered every stereotype that I ever had of them, of their country. Students and people who have a chance to talk to each other and get to know each other as people rarely exchange blows. I have always asked myself, is there anybody in this world who has the same thoughts as I have, who is living the same life I am living? Now, after everything that's happened with us, I am truly aware that, yes, there are some people who feel the same way as I do, Frank Bluestein and his students. We were successful that with these first 100 students, and hopefully that 100 will multiply 100-fold over and over again every day to where we will all understand that understanding, working together, understanding each other's culture is what's important um, in learning to live in a civilized society.